Welcome to this Windows channel and as we go through the privacy settings of the November update for Windows 10, we are going to take a look at the camera privacy settings or your webcam privacy settings. All you have to do, go on the bottom right into the notifications, go on to all settings, there you'll go into privacy and on the left side you'll have camera. First you see the general on off switch for the camera so if you turn that off all the apps from Windows and from the Windows Store cannot use your camera at all. The, this doesn't mean that the uh, computer cannot use a camera and that you have to be careful because this turn on off of the camera might uh, induce some people a little bit in uh, a mistake here because this switch is for the general settings of apps in Windows 10, not of desktop programs. So for example, if you've got desk Skype for desktop installed, you'll notice that even if you turn this off, it still works. And that's because it has its own access to the camera. So some desktop programs that you, you know typically install from a file or from a disk, these will not be stopped by the general switch. So that's one thing you need to know. This is mostly for the apps that are pre-installed and the ones you'll get on the Windows Store. This switch will stop these apps from actually using the camera. Privacy statement, learn more about camera privacy settings. This is of course the um, Microsoft page where they talk about the privacy statements and you know what it means and the general privacy uh, settings if you want to read that. Then you've got the apps that use the camera that you can individually shut, shut off or on. So if you have an app, for example, that you're trying to have the camera working and it doesn't seem to, maybe the app, the switch for that app is at off. So basically, just turn on or off anything that you don't want to use the camera. Like I said, of course, if you put the general switch at off, it switches everything off as you see here so don't forget about that and of course if you don't want it off but you want it you know specific to specific to some apps just go here and that's what you'll have now one thing that can happen because you know I see this with my clients uh, people are scared that the, the webcam might be turned on without them you know knowing about their, their knowledge now that you know I haven't seen that much uh, where I've seen it is uh, malware that installs. I've seen a few uh, pieces of malware that actually installed on the computer. And what happened is that that malware uh, took a picture of you to, uh, you know, say, hey, we got a picture of you. And basically, the uh, bad guys did not have a picture of you. It was really a local picture that was taken just to scare you. But, you know, it shows you that, yeah, th that could be a possibility. Remember that your webcam on your PC as a little light with it. So when your webcam is working, there's a general little light that turns on next to it that shows you it's on uh, for the most part. So, uh, you know, you can check that. If you're really scared, you know, and wonder if somebody could take a picture of you without your knowledge, well, you could, uh, you know, put a little sticker over the, um, the camera on your laptop or uh, if you have a desktop with, a, you know, a, a camera, you can take the camera and just, you know, um, turn it away from you, you know, point it to the wall instead of your face when you don't use it. But, uh, you know, a little sticker will do the job on laptops uh, just to hide, you know, that little camera at the top of the screen. So, general camera settings for the privacy. Remember, this does not affect programs that might have been installed from uh, CDs or from a file on the internet, they, these operate with a different set of rules usually. So um, these are really mostly for apps from the Windows Store and pre-installed apps on your computer with Windows 10. If you enjoy my videos, when I subscribe to my channel, you'll be informed when the videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, problems, let us know. Maybe you have a feature you'd like us to talk about, let us know. We'll try to, of course, help you with that. And uh, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoy our videos. Thank you.